Hi, Brandy. How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Oh, I'm not bad at all. Good. <laughs> so you have only got a couple of weeks left until the live finale. Are you in kind of last chance workout mode at home, and what does that look like? Uh, definitely in last chance workout. Um, you're just you're so much more focused um, when you're kind of in this uh, mode of. Um, you know, this is this is it. This is the final time. So, uh, for me, it's really been. I, I've been participating in a boot camp at the Muay Thai gym that I train at. Um, so that's 5:30 a.m. workouts, and then I'm working with the trainer around nine in the morning, and then I'm I'm spinning in the afternoon. Usually, uh, one or two maybe uh, spin classes at a local gym um, here in Pasadena. So it's it's been really uh, kind of honing in on the things that are. Um, kind of huge factors in, in what helped my weight loss on the ranch and, and making those things work for me here at home. Great. When we spoke to your dad a couple weeks ago when he was eliminated, he made a comment about how proud he was of you and that he's had a chance to watch you become a man. Was there any moment or certain event that stands out to you where you feel like you kind of crossed that line from boyhood into manhood? Uh, there definitely was, um, and it, it came down to a moment with Justin. It was um, week four, and we were on the ridge still. It was our last week on the ridge. Um, we were working out in the field with Brett, and there was we were doing an army crawl where you'd crawl about 15 feet, you'd stand up, and you'd have to punch a bag, and he paired us with other people from the, the teams we were training with. And so um, me and Justin were paired together, and, and we were pushing one another, and it was just this really intense – Kind of, I would push him, he would push me, and, and finally, um, I started in, in part of that army crawl to start to check out, which is something I had done in workouts previous, where I would kind of glaze over, just go through the motions. I wasn't really paying attention, and Justin saw it in my eyes. Justin and, and, and said something. He's like, um, "Don't you dare check out of this! Don't you dare give up! Don't you dare let your eyes glaze over!" And I stood up, I finished it out really strong, and it was kind of that moment of like, oh, my gosh, what am I doing? Why, why would I let this moment um, be a moment where I'm not giving everything I have? And it was kind of that moment that I started to realize I have a power within me and I have the ability to stand up and really make a difference, not only in myself but in, in those around me. And I started pushing him harder. The whole workout changed, and really from that point on, um, I really was able to, to, to start really pushing myself in a way I've never felt before in my life. So it was that moment that really kind of triggered my first kind of aha moment, to be honest. That's fantastic. Thank you so much, Austin. We look forward to seeing you at Finale. Thank you.